Good morning, St. Hugh. I'm Carolina Nuris Menocal. And I'm Emily Triana. Today is Monday, December 13th. Let's get started. Raider News starts now. Let us place ourselves in the presence of God as we begin our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for being able to wake once again, to see and to hear this morning. I'm blessed because you are forgiving God and in understanding God. You have done so much for me and you continue to bless me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. St. Hugh Catholic School is dedicated to nurturing peace by encouraging a prayerful environment, promoting academic success, while incorporating community service with God in every aspect of our lives. This month, our students will learn about the Catholic virtue of joy and the life of the servant of God, Fulton Sheen. Joy is the pure gift of God's grace and happiness. It is beyond human seeking or what we can imagine for ourselves. Fulton Sheen was born in, on May 8, 1895 in El Paso, Illinois. He attended St. Paul Seminary in Minnesota before his ordination. From 1930 to 1950, Father Sheen's weekly talks on the Catholics Hour radio program presented Catholic teaching in a way that had never been done before. On Easter Sunday, March 24, 1940, Monsignor Sheen appeared on the world's first television broadcast of a Catholic religious service. He spoke on the spiritual symbolism of television. He was consecrated a bishop on June 11, 1951. We hope you had a great weekend. Last week, on Wednesday, December 8, we had the Immaculate Conception School, school Mass, and later on Friday, December 10, we had our 3K, 4K, and Kinder Christmas show. Now onto this week's news. Today, Monday, December 13th, concludes our Christmas toy drive. On Tuesday, December 14th, we will be having a Christmas show for the 3rd through 8th grade classes. There will also be an after-school program, dance show at 4 p.m. in the parish hall. We will also be having our mass of the toys on Wednesday, December 15th at 8 a.m. in the church. We will also be recognizing our students of the month on Thursday, December 16th. There will be a dress down elf day, followed by a delicious bake sale on Friday, December 17th. We will be having a PJ dress down day and celebrate our winter wonderland with a 1 p.m. early dismissal. There will be no aftercare available. I'd like to wish the following students a very happy birthday this week. Francesca Maquilón, Lia Silva, Victoria Weitman Arcaya, Patricio Ruelas, Monico, Monique Abasi, Jaime Miguel, Juan Andres Sotillo, and Juan Diego Sotillo. The Vortex replicates the simulation of your virtual environment during a video game or a movie. This is possible because it creates different air currents in intensity. It looks like a small speaker, but it allows the user to experience hot, cold, or windy conditions. You can connect it to any PC or gaming device and simply place it on the table. In 1636, the United States National Guard was created. In 1913, in the U.S., the Federal Reserve System was established. In 1991, North Korea and South Korea signed a historic non-aggression agreement. In 1998, Puerto Rican voters rejected U.S. statehood in a non-blinding referendum. Well, now you know what is coming up this week. Have a wonderful Christmas vacation, and thank you for watching the Raider News. Raider News.